Muhannad Mahmoud al Farak, 31, could face life in prison after a federal jury Brooklyn, New York, convicted him on nine counts, including conspiracy to murder U.S. nationals and to use a weapon of mass destruction. His sentencing is set for January 11. Federal prosecutors claimed Al Farrakh was a member of the terror organization from 2007 to 2014. Court papers detailed his alleged participation in the January 2009 attack on a U.S. military installation in Khost, Afghanistan, where a truck armed with explosives blew up at the gate of the base and a second truck was prepared to do more harm. The trial evidence showed that he was involved in a variety of terrorist activity, Acting Assistant Attorney General Dana Bonte said after the verdict was rendered. Al Farrakh was born in Houston and grew up in Dubai. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, he attended the University of Manitoba in Canada between 2005 and 2007, and there became friends with co-conspirators, and later fellow Al-Qaeda members, Farid Imam and Maywand Yarrer. According to court documents, Al Farrakh left to train in Pakistan after he watched videos encouraging violent jihad and online lectures by the now deceased Al Qaeda leader Anwar al Awlaki, who inspired numerous terrorist plots against Western targets. The plan in the 2009 Afghanistan attack, court records show, evidently was for the first truck to explode at the gate to the base while a second truck, following closely, carried significantly more explosive ordnance and was intended to detonate inside to maximize casualties and damage. The second vehicle got stuck in the crater caused by the explosion of the first and did not detonate. Several Afghan nationals were injured, and a U.S. soldier was knocked to the ground. Eighteen fingerprints collected from packing tape used to bind together the explosive materials matched to Al Farrakh.